All right. <laughs> we are a go. This is all new to me. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mario. I don't know how much of a delay there is. Hopefully it's not significant. Yeah, I do see a little bit. That's okay. I'm doing really well. Uh, I hope you are too. I hope you're enjoying that coffee. <laughs> um, I feel like I've been... Oh, thanks. Yes, right. I should test. I should ask. Does it look okay? Does it sound okay? Is the music too loud? I, I did some testing, but you never really know what it's going to sound like. All right. So yeah, I've got two of, it says I've got two concurrent viewers, but one of them might be me. So <laughs> welcome to you, Mario. And uh, yeah, it'll just be you and me. If so, that's fine. Music you can barely hear. Okay, I'll turn it up a bit. Maybe like there. Yeah, we'll see if other people come, but if not... I turned on subscriber-only chat, but... Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's my first time. Yeah, I should have maybe just left the chat open to anyone, but... All good, all good. So... Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, um did take some time to set up some some stream-like uh, things, so we got this Aerith picture here. Set up a little logo and the music credit. I've also got some other... So this is kind of like my first time using OBS, so I've got all these different scenes for like gameplay and stuff and like be right back screen, so I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, trying a little bit here. It'll get better. And if this goes well, then I'm more inclined to do it in the future. So yeah, you can call me Kayla, or you can call me Cosmic, whatever you prefer. Nice, thanks, yeah. Yeah, I used to use Streamlabs, but you can't pause. A recording which was pretty devastating when I found out OBS can pause. Switched right over, never looked back. <laughs> so Mario, have you played Rebirth yourself and Remake? Where are you listening in from? Nice. Oh, no, I haven't. I can't afford a PS5. Yeah, I, one of my best friends is in the same situation. And I don't live near her, or else I would just let her, <laughs> let her borrow mine. Oh, hi, Toy Christopher. Welcome. <laughs> I've only watched Rebirth on YouTube. I wish it was out on PC. Yes. Played the OG on PS1. Nice. Yeah, I I think I played the original on... Was it? I think the PS2 was backwards compatible, maybe? I think I played it on that. So it was a little bit after it first came out. Well, yeah, and I owned a PS2 when I was... I think it was pretty late into its life cycle, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited for the PC release. I... It sucks because the performance mode, um, it's 60 FPS, but it looks quite blurry. 
Um, so I played it on graphics mode at 30, but with that PC version, it would be really nice to have the graphics and the frame rate. <clears throat> so I don't know when that's going to come out, but I know that it's... Uh, what's the word? Can't... <laughs> What's the word? It's on PS5 only until sometime in March, uh, May, and then who knows, but at that point it will be a possibility at least. Um, yeah. I actually don't have Rebirth, sorry, Remake on PC, I just realized. Okay, so, oh, one second. What are these? Okay, I'm gonna just click something. Oh. Weird. Okay, wait, now I don't see the chat here. I was gonna do a live reaction. Maybe I'll do it here. Yeah, it works there. All right, OBS. There's the chat, okay. Playable on Android. <laughs> yeah, can't wait for that either. Hi, Yorkshire man, ASMR. <laughs> Thank you for popping in and saying hi. As you can see, it's very, very busy in here. <laughs> I'm excited though. I'm excited. I'm excited to chat with people about this game. It's amazing. I'm too impatient to watch the ending to things before I finish them myself. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I would lose motivation if I did that too. I get that way a little bit with horror games. I can't play them myself, but I wish I could. Uh, so those are like the really big category that I will watch people play. But not to myself, because I am too scared. Like all the Resident Evil games, the Silent Hill games, all that kind of thing. Oh, there's a cat. <laughs> you should play Silent Hill games. Is there one that they're remaking or it's like oh shoot is it a spiritual successor or predecessor <laughs> i remember seeing footage about a silent hill game quite recently there's two cats there the black one is smudge and the striped one is boots. <laughs> They're hissing at each other. Stop it! They're good friends, but they get into little tiffs. Silent Hill 2. I'm just... Yes, that's the one. Yeah, it looks like really atmospheric. <laughs> Come on! My first live stream, you're gonna do that? Okay, I don't think <laughs> their audio is being picked up. Stop it! Come on, come on. Silent Hill 2. I'll definitely watch it. <laughs> definitely watch that. But, I don't know, I couldn't even play, like, Slenderman. I can barely play, uh... Oh shoot, what's that game? Ah <laughs> oh, shoot, what's that game? <sighs> Why can't I remember the name? It's like this co-op game that's really popular right now. And you land on planets with friends and need to collect junk. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember the name. 
Shadow of the Colossus. I have played that. It was originally PS2, right, I think? Or PS3? PS3. Um, yeah, I played that back in the day. And I have it on uh, PS4. Did it come out on again? Yeah, Lethal Company. Thank you. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus is so amazing. One of my favorite games. Um, I wasn't big into PlayStation games. I only played a few. I was more of like a Nintendo person. But Shadow of the Colossus was incredible. Yeah, it's funny, funny watching streamers play horror games. Yes. That's why I like to watch. Even when I'm watching streamers play, I like hide. I'll have like a blanket. Like I can't even look at the screen. <laughs> I'm a big baby. Okay, the cat's calmed down. Thank you. Yeah, I can just tell you a bit about me. I gave a bit of an intro in my rebirth part one. Um, but yeah, you can call me Kayla or Cosmic, whatever you prefer. And um, I'm Canadian. I live on the west coast of Canada. I have a desk job currently. Um, and I have a background in particle physics. I have a PhD in particle physics, so if you want to ask me about that, um, you're welcome to. I could talk for a long time about physics, so <laughs> you're welcome to ask me about that. And I do miss it. I do miss it. My current job doesn't involve physics, but it was a lot of fun doing a degree in that. Um, and I got to work at the Large Hadron Collider, if you've heard of it. It's the largest particle accelerator in the world, and it's located at CERN, the CERN Laboratory, if you've heard of that. Um, if you've seen, I think it's Angels and Demons, that movie, then CERN is featured in that movie. <laughs> And, um, yeah. What are your thoughts on the next Final Fantasy VII Remake? Good lord. That's a question. So, first thing. I'm gonna just be- like, there's gonna be spoilers in this. I thought to- for my first stream to, like, say something about, like, not having spoilers for the ending, but... Um... I didn't want to have to, like, moderate the chat and, like, repeat that over and over again. And I'm also really excited to talk about it, so... Yeah, there will be some spoilers. Uh, so yeah, just a warning about that. And I'm kind of assuming people have watched my playthrough, uh, if you're subscribed to me, so... Um, I... I'm very excited for the next game, obviously. Uh, since finishing Rebirth, I have been watching a lot of, like, theory crafting videos because the ending was so interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been watching a lot of, like, Max Dude, and he has a lot of really good insights about the whole, the whole series, and also, like, what to expect in the third game. And he made, like, a lot of predictions about Rebirth that ended up being true. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting to hear his take on it. And just having played the original, like, less than a year ago, it's obvious, like, we're gonna have the high wind. If they... Okay, Rebirth was, like, 95% the original, right? So it's kind of safe to assume the... Remake 3 is going to be largely the same, too. If that's true, then we're going to have the high wind. We're going to be able to 
fly around the world, which is kind of what Rebirth started to do with the tiny Bronco once you were able to, to go in the ocean. But there's going to be a northern continent, more fleshed out. There's going to be Wutai. I don't know if they're going to have, like... I guess they will have the medial kind of area, too. We're going to have a submarine. Are we going to be able to, like, go through the whole ocean? Like in the original? <laughs> it just seems, like, so huge in scope. And we go back to Midgar at some point. So... It just seems like it's going to be completely massive. And <clears throat> I'm pretty excited. Like, I, I'm not sure, like... I'm curious how you guys feel about the ending of Rebirth. Like, I think people are kind of... I don't want to say divided, but... It wasn't like that satisfying ending, you know? Like... We're kind of left in the dark about a lot of things, and a lot of things are confusing. Um, so I think people are kind of like left feeling like they're in limbo <laughs> until the next game. Like I feel like the wait from this till the third game is going to be way harder for me than... Well, actually I'm not sure about that. I'd have to think more. Um, I kind of had this feeling like... Re remake was kind of like small in scope relative to Rebirth. And I kind of felt unsure about what to expect for Rebirth. Like I didn't... I was like, how the hell are they gonna make... How the hell are they gonna do this? But obviously I had no reason to worry because they in my opinion, like, nailed everything above and beyond. It's an amazing game. Um, the submarine's gonna be insane. Yeah! Like, that is gonna be ins- yes, I agree, insane. There's a whole underwater world we get to explore. But then, like, part of me, well, I'm trying to remember, in the original, the whole point of going underwater was to find, like, the emerald weapon. There was that key to the ancients, key of the ancients thing underwater. And there was the sunken Galnica. And there was the underwater reactor. So I'm trying to think, like, I don't know if it's going to be worth it to make the whole underwater's, like, area, like a whole area. Or if they're going to keep it kind of, like, small in scope. I'm not sure. I don't know what they'll do. I personally loved the ending, but I think people are overcomplicating it. Yeah. Um, me too. Like, when I beat it... Okay, it's, it's different when you're playing it because you're just overwhelmed with everything on screen. <laughs> And you're trying to play it, too. <clears throat> so, you just can't absorb everything that's happening. When I beat it, I remember being, like, kind of in this weird, like, what the fuck happened to Aerith state, which is on purpose. But also, to me, it felt, like, obvious that she had died. But, and then later learned that it wasn't obvious to people. <laughs> uh... So yeah, I felt really decisive, like, yeah, she's dead, and Cloud is, like, imagining this stuff. Or she's somehow communicating to him, like, through the live stream. But she's... she's dead, I think. <laughs> she's dead. Um, and yeah, there's been, like, evidence to kind of support that, but not fully. Um, <clears throat> and there's the, like, the, com the reunion of worlds thing that we still don't fully understand. But yeah, I really did like the ending. And if they're trying to go for this meta thing where the player feels like Aerith's alive, like Cloud is, then that's kind of cool. I liked the ending, but there's a lot of ambiguity, yeah. It's kind of unavoidable with it being part two, yeah. 
So yeah, another great... I watched a lot of Max Dude's videos. <laughs> and another great analogy he made was to, like, Lord of the Rings. Um, like, part two, and just, like, in generic storytelling theory, you kind of have, like, two-thirds of the way through a story, there's, like, a dip in, like, mood. Like, the characters are struggling. If the characters are doing great, there's no... <laughs> You're kind of not telling the story in the great greatest of ways. <clears throat> It, like, you could have a story like that, but it's more impactful if the characters are in their lowest point. In the, t like, around the two-thirds mark. And then, well, it might go even lower. It's probably going lower. <clears throat> because Cloud still thinks that she's alive, right? So, like, we're gonna hit that point where Cloud is at his lowest point, and he gives Sephiroth, the Black Materia, and all of that shit goes down. <clears throat> and then... It starts to go up, and holy fuck. Like, the way they've done Rebirth... It's gonna be crazy. Like, Cloud's moment? Where he fucking finds himself again? If they incorporate him... Coming to terms with Aerith's death at that same time as his other kind of like memories are like rediscovered or like clarified in the live stream. That would be crazy. That would be fucking crazy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like it's hard for the developers because <clears throat> they, you have to wait like three or four years between games. So how the hell do you. It, it's like, you have so long to wait, so that low point is... It lasts a long time, and so you're gonna bother people by not having a satisfying ending to the second part. I wish Vincent and Sid were part of the last battle. Yeah. Definitely, like... <clears throat> Vincent? Okay, Sid was more like, I'm not going in the temple, like, fuck that. <laughs> and he wasn't- actually, shit, I just realized, he wasn't at the Forgotten Capital. <coughs> I just realized that, because there's that part where they all put their hands up and open the door, like, open the portal into the whispers. And I was like, yay, everyone's there, but... Vincent wasn't- I mean, Clint, Sid wasn't there. <laughs> so, he's kind of a background character. Vincent was at least there, but he was also in the background, but he would, like, pop up, like, oh, he was at the Forgotten Capital. Oh, he was in the temple. <clears throat> I wish for sure, too, that they were somehow in it, but their moment is coming in the third part. I guess... Yeah, something's gotta give. <clears throat> but yes, that for sure, me too. I also I also think she's dead and is communicating to him through livestream. Yeah, parts of it are supposed to be unknown. Yes, exactly. She's definitely dead. I feel like a big part of part three will be Cloud having to accept her death. Yes, exactly. The stakes are so much higher. I also felt like the end was a huge send-off for Aerith. Yeah! We are seeing the OG game from her perspective. She can see her friends, but can't really say goodbye. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, it's really, really sad. Um, so there's... Well, okay, like, honestly, one of the biggest pieces of evidence for me that she's gone is in the original soundtrack, um, which I bought. The last song of the t of the soundtrack is called Eris Theme Dash Return to the Planet. <clears throat> and it's not it's not a happy ending. And all the other party members are crushed, especially Tifa because she's Cloud is behaving in such a strange way that Tifa is just like what the shit is going on with him? She can't even talk to Cloud at the end of the game. 
Barrett has to step in and be like, Cloud, like, get your shit together. We got stakes in this. No heavy loads. <laughs> but yeah, it felt obvious to me that she was dead and that it was something specific to Cloud. Tifa gives Cloud, yeah, that look she gives him. When, well, yeah, when they're at the pool of water where we don't see Cloud put her in the water. When Cloud says like, yep, let's go, haha. Tifa's like, what? And then at the end, at the tiny Bronco, she looks so fucking sad. She can hardly even look at him. My question is, is Cloud as crazy as he seems? Or does he know that Aerith is in the live stream? And that's why he isn't sad. That's an interesting thought. I don't think he knows that Aerith is in the live stream. Just because it's clear to me he's blocking it out. <laughs> like, we don't see him put her in the water, right? So he's not acknowledging he's not acknowledging her death, so yeah, I don't know. But it's a good point. It's a good thought. Nothing is for certain right now. Nothing at all. Yeah. But yeah, part three is gonna be crazy. Absolutely crazy. And the payoff of having this, like, shitty low moment right now is gonna be... mind-blowing. I think. If they do it right, which I think they will. And they've taken a risk with the, this ending, I think. Is Cloud blocking her out or is Aerith doing it to try to- yeah, oh god, okay. I could- I could go off on this <laughs> for a minute. So, I do think that Aerith is trying to protect Cloud. Okay? For sure she is. And so I'm thinking, like, should I bring up my browser right now? Because, yeah, I think I do. Let me test this. This is going to be a test. So let me click this. <gasps> Look at this. I had a feeling that we would maybe look at <clears throat> a video of mine. So I think she definitely is protecting him. So I hope this all works. Let's just, this might be, you're my guinea pigs here, okay? All right, we're back. So when, yeah, spoilers for the ending. If we go to the part, spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> when, I'm just gonna mute it for a sec. After the moment, This is when I lost it, my face. <laughs> when her theme starts playing, I'm just like, shit, they did it. Okay, so Cloud's consoling her. I feel like Max dude right now. Theory crafting. Okay, look at this. Okay. We got... Look at the glowing around her body and her hands. Okay, that's fucking weird. That wasn't there a second ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's muted. I just want to show the visuals. Okay. Then, some stuff happens. They The party sees not just Aerith dead. What? Tifa? Something's weird about Tifa, but I don't know everything about that, obviously. Okay, Sephiroth's a dick. Okay, look again. She's got this glowing shit. The life stream glitter. This is where she's comforting him, okay? So in the first part, she's like, Cloud, it's okay. She's smiling at him. Here she's smiling at him. And she's like, he's like, I got this, babe. I got this. And she's like, mm-hmm. 
Now, I think there is some wizardry happening here, okay? Because if we now <clears throat> go back, and I haven't seen people talking about this particular part, but in this part, when we get to the black materia, right before the demon gate fight, there is some fucking weird thing that happens to Aerith. Okay, too far. Bear with me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna unmute it, so I'll pause the... Okay, so here... Sephiroth? is explaining his plan reach into infinity but being vague it shall encompass worlds unbound by fate and histories unwritten okay look at this look at look what the fuck is happening to Aerith. look at the glowing green and the little life stream glitter and listen to her voice whoa she has two voices what do you mean Whoa. My fragmented I haven't seen anyone talk about this. Now, so she's literally asking him. Sorry, I'm getting excited and loud. She's literally Whoa. asking him to explain life. his plan Make to her. Worlds. All shall be one again. And that's kind of basically it. And then a second later, she t returns to normal. No such thing as forever. Life, like oh. life stream around her, right? Okay, then she's back to normal and the glitter is gone. So what I think is happening is that when Aerith has the like life stream around her, that is life stream Aerith, or some people call her like Omni Aerith. <laughs> the Aerith that is all knowing and exists in the life stream is like projecting herself into that Aerith. <laughs> and that's how like what the glowy shit means. Because there, she literally has two voices! And she's asking, what is your plan? And the same thing happens in that scene where Cloud is laying with her. She has the glowy shit and she's like, actually, it's okay. Chill. So she really is trying to protect him. And I think it might be like the Omni Aerith <laughs> that people have theories about. I think there's actually good evidence for like the live stream Aerith. I think that's kind of like confirmed, right? So she's definitely protecting him from the reality of her own death. I'm really curious like how much of it, her role is in the ending though, because there's this like reunion of worlds thing that Sephiroth's trying to do. But like how much of that is Aerith taking advantage of and like using to protect Cloud is super weird. Um, I hope I'm kind of making sense. I don't know. Yeah, the red feeling her presence thing. They fucking threw that in there because they knew people would be like, wait, she is there. <laughs> She's meta Aerith, the one- yeah, battling- yeah, okay. The one that says goodbye doesn't seem to be the Omni Aerith, yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna just, like, go one step further. On the same vein that Aerith is protecting Cloud. This is a bit more, like, far-fetched, but... Super weird when Cloud deflects the sword, okay? We see the same, like, glowing green life stream around his sword right here. Okay. Like, and Aerith's eyes are open, which I know we kind of knew, but what if Aerith... <laughs> what if Aerith is somehow intervening question mark 
from the live stream. Like, what if she is somehow giving Cloud the ability to deflect the sword? And then he doesn't have to come to terms with her death right now. Like, maybe Rebirth is different enough, Cloud's state is different enough that Aerith feels like she has to intervene to like like say if cloud really did experience Aerith's death here maybe he would just completely fucking break but then like what's different between this and the original sephiroth's been fucking with him more i don't know but it's weird it's weird i'm just spitting i don't know like i'm just spitting weird shit she is the one that len lets him change fate. Yeah, something like that. Because in the other scene I just showed, Aerith learns what the fuck Sephiroth's gonna do. He tells her when she comes into Aerith's body. He tells her that he's gonna like merge the worlds. And that's what the reunion means. And that's where she learns it. So maybe she's like, fuck, let's take advantage of that and do something that will really confuse players. I don't know. <laughs> he has the agency of feeling like he did something to stop Air stop Sephiroth and save her. <clears throat> yeah. Totally makes sense because in the church, when she gives him the white material, she's trying to protect him. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Totally. Okay. Another super interesting thing. Um, yeah, she's trying to protect him from feeling guilt. She's like, don't, whatever happens, don't blame yourself. Um, fuck, where was I going with that? Uh, shit, I had this, I had this. Try and protect him from feeling guilt. I lost my train of thought. <clears throat> There's so much to fucking consider yeah exactly toy christopher in the final fight with Aerith and cloud Aerith thanks cloud for what he did back there and she says i saw what you did back there <laughs> that's an interesting thing to say <laughs> um shit i had a good point but to support what you're saying i've lost it It'll come back. Yeah, okay, I, f I found the thought. So, another kind of really strong piece of evidence, in my opinion, that the ending, at the end scene, Aerith is in Cloud's head and not really her, is the way it's the dialogue that that Aerith says. It's super contradictory to everything that Aerith says right before the final fight. Um, well, we have this open. There's two scenes where she explicitly says to Cloud, focus on yourself. I'll worry about Sephiroth. We need to worry about um, we shouldn't focus on anger, we should focus on forgiveness, okay? One of them is at the clock part. <clears throat> it's the part where she's... They all go through their little trials, right? Which was so sad. Heartbreaking, right? Fuck, I'm like... Sorry, okay. We have all experienced pain. We all have our regrets. <sighs> what we've done, what's been done to us, that's set in stone. The past is forever. But the future, even if it has been written, yeah, can exactly, be Toy Christopher. It's true that the pain and the anger we carry can make us stronger. 
but at what cost? What toll does it take? I'm <laughs> so broken at this part. I believe true strength. Aerith's scene was brutal. Okay, true strength doesn't come from that. True strength comes from our ability to forgive. Forgive. To forge ahead in the hope of making things right. It comes from ourselves. So focus on the future, not the past. Do that. And not even Sephiroth will be able to stand in our Okay? Way. Not even Sephiroth. Not even him. That's basically that part, right? <clears throat> Are you finished? Okay. So Cloud pfft, not listening to that. Cloud's not listening. He isn't his mind is elsewhere. So there's that part. And then there's the part where she's in the sleeping forest, right, we're back. I think it's called. Um, she pokes her head out. Just like in the original, she pokes her little head out. So cute. But forget about, forget him, about you know. Sephiroth. Just focus on yourself, okay? Oh my god. This is fucked. <laughs> god. I'm fine, he says. She's like, no. Focus on you, Cloud. I've been trying to find the real you. <sighs> okay. So given that, all of that we just heard from her, which seems like good normal Aerith things to say. This is kind of like an argument that Max gave, which I think is really great. Why the hell, if that's all true, why the hell does Aerith then say <laughs> all of this at the end? What if something happens? I'll keep. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Dramatic effect broken. Where does he say it? You gonna be okay getting back? Oh, it's near. It's near the end. I didn't miss it. The rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. Just oh, I'm going after Sephiroth, actually, babe. You promise? Promise. What? That goes against that so goes against what she was saying, right? And that that makes me really think that. That Aerith here is just a figment of his mind. But then, and yeah, it's like, well, why does Red react to her? What's with the thing in the sky that Cloud can see? Yeah, it's all very confusing. She's trying to stop Sephiroth, but they did that in the OG and it didn't work. He's still infecting the livestream. So if the goal is to have a different outcome, do they need to forgive him? Yeah, like how is the ending gonna be different? Something has to be different about... Well, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, how do they actually kill Sephiroth completely and utterly? Aerith is, Aerith is dead and she is trying to protect Cloud's mind. Yeah, why can Cloud see the fissure? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> Super weird. So much to analyze. <laughs> In the final fight, she's also arguing with Sephiroth, asking him why he would want the reunion. Because it would mean he is alone forever. Yeah, I remember that line. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, like, so deep into this stuff, like... But at some point, it just becomes too much. Like, you're not gonna 
come across the answer before the last game. But it's fun to theorize. It's like, this is what they wanted. <laughs> I think the fissure is maybe supposed to be a signal that the reality he is seeing where Aerith is alive will be ending soon. The reality he is seeing where Aerith is alive. Yeah, like... Yeah, I don't know. It's fucking weird. And the red thing. The red thing? I kind of feel like... If Cloud is seeing Aerith walking around... That he could imagine Red reacting to her, but I don't know. I feel like that's not a great explanation. Yeah, this whole scene is so weird. And the way he... yeah. Even, even this rift looks different to me, though. I haven't done, like, a comparison, but... I thought in Zack's world and in Aerith's dream, it's more like yellow, but here it looks kind of like rainbowy. And then there's all that stuff about like what the rainbows mean. <laughs> I haven't even talked about that because I don't fucking know. It's like, is it Aerith intervening? Is it where a timeline breaks off? That seems to be the best, the best theory, but. There's rainbows in other places that... Like, there's rainbows in... I don't know. There's kind of like rainbow effects in different parts of the game. Like, even their limit breaks have, like, rainbows. <laughs> but here, there's also, like, a rainbow kind of look, so... I don't know. Anyway. It's fun to think about. But I really do hope that they... I hope they answer these questions, you know? There's just too much we don't know right now. Yeah, I know, like... You want that moment for her, and if that's just Cloud imagining her saying goodbye, like... It's not... I don't know, I agree. It doesn't feel like a good send-off. There's also, um... Again, going back to... Yeah. It is weird for her to do that. Yeah, it's fucking- it's weird. It's like a combination of... Things Cloud would have wanted her to say... But then at the end... Yeah, so there's- if you have- if you don't watch Max Dude, then... Um... I'm sure this has been explained by, like, others, but at the end... Of the credits... I did not- I'm not the one who found this, okay? I'm just... I'm just... the messenger. <laughs> they show all the CGI, like, cut- not CGI, just the cutscenes, but then at the end they do show the- Okay. So, there's some scenes that are just missing from the credits. I'll go back a bit more. So, like, they show everything. But then, at this point, they stop showing. They don't show that part when Cloud's like, Aerith, wake up, and she opens her eyes. And then it's like, okay, there's the part with, uh, what's his, what's his name? Glenn. That's in here. Zach's in here. 
And then... They don't show the end cutscene until the Bronco's flying away. And then she's saying goodbye. They don't show the, like anything from Cloud's perspective for that like end part of the game. So it could be like maybe when Cloud is interacting with her and looking at her, it's in his head. But then when it's for some reason here at the end, it's really her? I don't know. When Cloud met Tifa... After the first stage of the game. Okay, wait. Cloud gives Tifa the yellow flower, and in that short conversation, Cloud says, A man can change. Has been five years after all. Yeah, I do remember this when they're sitting... Wait. Cloud gives Tifa a yellow flower in this game? Oh, wait. Was that in Remake? Sorry, you did say Remake. Sorry. <laughs> the, the words are so similar. Yeah. In Remake, he goes back to the bar and gives her the flower. I don't remember the scene too well. There's a few times when Cloud says something about that gap of time and Aerith or Tifa's like, wait. I think they did it in this game too, in the calm uh hotel. The inn. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to go back and- I guess we could go back and look, but let's see. First time streaming anything. Or, uh, recording. Uh, sorry. Not the first part. Uh, how far through is it, actually? It won't be there. It'll be around here. Okay, here he's already... No, too far. Back at the bar, right? Yeah. Uh-huh, we got it. Wait. Let's get down to business, shall we? These water filled Wait. Into it. Make the rotten eggs. Oh my god, this scene was so funny. <laughs> no, this isn't the scene, right? <sighs> Let's get this over with. He's grumbling so much. 152 21. Thank you. I'll give you the grand tour. 152. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barry. Right. Come on. Change. Has been five years. I 
I don't really know why that is her response. Like, she knows that... She knows it's been that long since they've seen each other. So it wasn't five years? I thought it was five. Oh! Okay, because Tifa doesn't... Tifa doesn't know that Cloud was in Nibelheim. Like, to her, that doesn't... From, from Tifa's perspective, Zack was the one who came with Sephiroth. With the two mysterious soldiers that aren't revealed. Yeah, so for her, I think it was two years, I can't remember, since Cloud leaves Nibelheim as a kid, as a young teenager. Okay, we got it. <laughs> That's a good thought. Thank you for bringing that up. Because on, like, the surface, I'm, I didn't... Yeah. That's the thing, like, we don't... We don't have Tifa's perspective yet, really, of all of this. <laughs> She's going to be so important in the third game. Yeah. Well. Figured it out. <clears throat> yeah, and then... Oh shit, hang on, that's really interesting. In this game... In Calm, she- I remember her saying something about the five-year number. Oh, that is right here. After five years doing who knows what. Years. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Whatever happened, he's alive. You know about alive so much as around? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now she... Now, five years makes... Well, okay, because Cloud has just told his story about being in Nibelheim. So... And he's given enough details that Tifa knows he was there. Even though she didn't see him, because he had a, his helmet on. But yeah, so now she acknowledges like the five years thing is how long it was <laughs> yeah oh no worries <laughs> we figured it out <clears throat> yeah so yes you're right here she's talking about or at least it seems like she's talking about Sephiroth, because that's the topic. But I think it's kind of like s subtle double meaning. That... Because she looks <laughs> right at Cloud. Like, it's kind of like, yeah, actually, Cloud, you too. Where were you? <laughs> Sorry, I've got the music going at the same time, but... After five years? See, she's like, kind of... She's so bothered by it that it makes me think that she's, in her mind, thinking about Cloud, even though the topic is Sephiroth. Because then, Tifa and Aerith go back to the room, and Aerith, or Tifa says... Cloud was never in Nibelheim, as far as I know. What's Cloud been doing this past See, then, yeah, exactly. So it's like they're talking about Sephiroth, but ultimately she's like thinking about Cloud. I think. The static. Did she say something more than he blocked out? Interesting. Yeah, let's see. 
I think it's some. Um... Let's see. Right. After five years, doing who knows what. Yeah. Um. I don't know if he's blocking out for words, but I think in his mind he's like, "What actually have?" Like in his mind, there must be some. There is a gap, right? Like, because of him and Zack being, like, held captive by Hojo and stuff. So in his mind, it it may not make sense. Like, the five years, he says the number. He knows when he was in Nibelheim. But in his brain, five years actually doesn't really make sense. Because he was being experimented on? Maybe? <clears throat> Touching the gap or considering it, yeah, like, I should remember this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Cloud's mind is broken in this game. From the beginning! Like, in this, right after this, they, him and Tifa go up to the roof and have that moment where he says, He's immediately, immediately manipulated by Sephiroth, like, where's her- I killed her, how is she alive? <laughs> this is a fake Tifa! As soon as the game starts, he's being manipulated. So yeah, I feel like he's more far gone in this game than he was in the OG. Go watch 3340 in the same video. Oh yeah. You'll find that the guard out the guard in front of Cloud is actually the guard in front of Cloud? 3340. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Right I know what you're talking about. The hair is visible. Look! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little suspicious. And the voice is fucking the same. <laughs> sure don't look it. The hair, you can see the oh, hair. Oh yeah, I do point that it. Man. <laughs> hair is that. Tall, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Yes. And the jaw. I didn't really look at the face. But yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's his model. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This game is so good, so good. <laughs> the devs didn't even try to hide it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, like, if you didn't play the original, what are you thinking? Like, how much do you catch on? Yeah. You know what's even sadder? Like, on the mountain, when the bridge breaks, there was like a 50% chance that Cloud was going to be the one who washed down the river, dude. Like, I kind of like that they added that because it was, it makes you realize, like, shit, like, he could have died right there easily. I've watched a few streamers and they seem to enjoy the story. Okay, that's good. And they catch on to more than I would have thought. Interesting. That's good. It's a lot to balance because... It's a lot to balance. They need to adhere to the old game, but... Not make it one-to-one -to -one or else we would... Like, I know some people want one-to-one, -one, but... I think it's great that they chose this route and didn't do a one-to-one -one remake because we would just know everything. There would be no surprise. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Even if it is... Well, like, if it's meta, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's cool. There's one story that we all know should happen. 
but then the timelines get fucked with and suddenly we don't know what's gonna happen. They do they throw in some like fan servicey things like hey Zack's alive, Zack and Cloud fight together, and then who knows what Zack what role he'll have in the third game, but I love all of it. I love all of it. <laughs> I think they did a great job. And it's really... Hmm. I heard that in the Ultimania thing that came out. I don't remember who on the dev team, but someone was researching Buddhism. You're right. Okay. Tana Greek knows. I will look into that. Well, I might launch up the game. because it's been over an hour of talking, which is so fun. I've had a great time. But I have also been dying to play the game. And we can continue chatting, of course. So let me switch. Okay, ready? Let's stop the music. It's the one thing I have to do manually. And with this button. And then I turn on the controller. Actually, let me just move OBS over. It's been so fun talking about this stuff. Thank you guys for being here and chatting with me on this Friday evening. Okay. Hey. <clears throat> okay, you guys should be able to hear the game and hear me still. Um Yeah, let me know if it needs to be louder. It's kind of quiet right now, but I think it's just coincidence. No, it's cuz my volume sucks. One second. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. So, what's the plan? So, if you watched my lives, my playthrough, you'll know that there were a couple quests I didn't do. Uh, and one of them was this one, Sand and Circuses, where we got to help Leslie get his girl back. And I felt so bad not doing that. But I was feeling so eager to get to the end. And there's another quest after this that I didn't even see. Unfortunately, I did have some of it spoiled. So I know roughly what happens, but not all of it. So that's exciting. And the other thing I haven't done in terms of in terms of quests is the proto relic at well, it's the Gilgamesh quest, okay. So, okay, it keeps everything. So we gotta do this stuff, okay? Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna be too hard. It was <laughs> challenging. <laughs> um, this quest I had a hard time with Aerith's one-on-one uh, -on -one fight. So we'll see, we'll try. Uh... If I have to dial it down in difficulty, I might, but I just want to check what am I doing. Normal, okay. So we've leveled up a bit. We leveled up a bit. So it might be easier for that reason. <sighs> well, <sighs> I'm debating putting it on dynamic because the one thing I did in the past, like, couple weeks, was go fight Midgard Zormer again, because I thought that fight was so cool. And I left the difficulty on normal, and I completely crushed him in, like, 10 seconds. So I don't want that to happen here. 
But this was further into the game. Like, this quest is only available at the end of the game. Like, in Chapter 12. So, I don't think it will be that big of a discrepancy. But why don't we try it? So let's go talk to Leslie. I did do... Yuffie's fight for this, but... Could not beat Aerith's. <laughs> so let's see. You're that guy from Corneos. Leslie. What are you doing out here? You look like you've been through hell. Got some good music, too. My girl might be out this way. Had to follow up. See if there was truth to it. Oh, I've already asked those things. Okay. Uh, let me just remind myself. What happened to your girl? didn't tell you. Her name's Merle. After you guys left Wall Market, I started asking around. Hoped one of her friends might know something. Shouldn't have bothered. Even if they did have info, they're not dumb. They wouldn't dare blab to a former Corneo crony. But I was able to find out she wasn't in Midgar anymore. And ever since then, I've been moving from town to town, looking for leads. Test, 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 can you hear me? So the thing is, Gus is it too loud? A special competition, and a woman is the prize. Word around the Dust Bowl is she fled here from Midgar. It's just a hunch, but I think she might be who I'm looking for. It looks okay on my end. She's a prize? Okay. Sick. Mario, maybe it's on Gus your side. Piece of shit, to put it mildly. You do that? <laughs> Monster's dead. Gus is calling it a party, but it's an Oh yeah, it's party. <laughs> Lots of it. Okay, I'll turn it up a bit in the uh, game here. And his there we go. On the ladder. Let me know if that's better. I lost. So this is where you guys come in. Join the party. God, his music is so good. Still a murder, no you? worries, Mario. No reason not to. True. Please. We'll do it. <laughs> so you know, need a team of five to sign up. In the ring, though, it's one on one. <laughs> and humans only, I'm afraid. <sighs> Or red. I'm counting on you. And so's the woman. If anyone can put Gus in his place, it's Wall Market's reigning champs. One the one redeeming character from Don Carneo's house. Okay. So here's the thing. I am a little rusty because it's been a few weeks. Three weeks? Four? Um, so I know there was, yeah, uh, this might be a bit of a, a shit show. I remember the first guys being a, it took some, it took a few tries, so we'll see, we'll see. All I know is that Gus, Gus has some of the best music in the whole fucking game. I've been listening to the Gus theme literally non stop. Non stop. Past week. Um. When do I get to modify my materia? Not here. I wish. I hope they add a screen here <laughs> in the third game where you can edit your materia here. Please. So there, it's level 45. We are level 49. And these guys, I remember, had some gravity attacks. Let's just see. Let's just see. Apologies in advance. Horses 
My personal pick of the fiercest, most ferocious fiends you have ever seen! This is it, folks. You're about to witness a brutal bloodbath of untold proportion. Let the shit hit the man! This music coming in. So good. It's coming. Just warming up. Okay. How do I play this game again? <laughs> do I even have a cess on her? No. What is these guys' deal? They're flying, so we could try wind. They're not really flying. Let's try. Okay. Critical? Okay, that's good. So good. Oh, uh, 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 uh. This is the shit that really uh, hurt me last time. The music is so good. Uh. Just try some stuff. They're gonna gravity me in a second. Sure, why not? There are some things on Yuffie I never used. Like this. And this. Where's her? Oh yeah, that one. Oh, let's evade. We did it. Oh god, here it comes. Some guys. Yeah, there's no way to avoid that. Oh, oh, my health. My health. Uh-oh. Okay, you can charge. Just don't... Just don't hurt me. I forgot there's no items as well. Okay. This is already going better than my first try. All right. Oh, our limit's ready. this um, <laughs> level discrepancy to my advantage. It was easier, but not incredibly easy. So Aerith is the one that I really struggled with. Oh, thank you, Borsh28. Yuffie's fight looks so cool. Yuffie's so much fun. Right, I forgot. But I forgot to even mention this. It just so happens that I hit 300 subs today. So I thought, how nice is that? <laughs> Why not have a live stream? Great coincidence. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for that. Now... Okay. We... Right, Aerith, I don't have to worry so much about Materia. I should already have her pretty set up. Now these were some fireballs and I remember they kept like taking turns to hit fireballs at me and I couldn't fucking get a chance to do anything. Um, thank you. Thank you. Aerith is the 
character that I feel the least experienced with, like the most unsure about playing. I never really used her wards. Every time I played as her, I would get attacked and just feel really like weak. So I never played her that much. And so in this fight, can really tell that I did not play her very well. And then, yeah, going to the, like the Reddit thread, it's like people have crazy strategies with Aerith. Like she can be incredibly powerful slash invincible. So, so let me try this. One of her wards lets you be invincible when you cast magic. So we'll see, we'll see. Oh, I'm already regretting this. So on these guys... Oh, I already have them assist. Yeah, so inflicting damage while they're breathing fire will pressure them. So I have to hit them when they're breathing. And so... Yeah, I need to... Fuck. <laughs> I'm already like... Okay, okay. And she's also slow at getting ATB. Okay, let me remind myself of what Aerith can do. The music is a lot louder now, so let me know if that's an issue. So her wards, Arcane Ward. This one... No, that's not the one. Is it Radiant Ward? Yeah. That might be the one I need. Soul Drain. Ow. Sorry, Aerith. Maybe I just run in and... No, I don't know. I don't know. I Like, what's the strategy? <laughs> I'm so bad with her. I remember trying to use the shield here, and it wasn't great. ATB she needs too. Like, that's pretty... She's pretty slow at that. No, fire won't be good. Let's try... Let's try the Radiant Ward. And... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, she's doing it. I'm also really bad at blocking. Oh boy. Oh dear. Shit. <laughs> Let me just see how hard that is to dodge. Okay, okay, if I just run, maybe it's okay. <laughs> oh boy. Go! <laughs> oh. Okay. Not terrible. I remember, like, I could, I could, like, stay alive for a long time, but their health never decreased. Yeah, dear god. Dear god. What am I supposed to do? I guess ward shift? That's pretty quick to... Oh god. That's pretty quick to come back. Can you... Okay, he's gonna fireball. Does fireball count as breathing fire? Or is that their other attack? Um... Oh, I don't have ice. Okay. She's... Oh shit. Too slow. Oh god. Okay. Um... See, there he's breathing it. 
But I <laughs> need to heal again. Yeah, I just find this fight so awkward with her. No need to panic. <laughs> this is quality content right here. And then they get bigger and scarier. Oh, limit. Um, will she just be invis invincible? I'll wait. Dude. Let's just do something to him while he's breathing. No, too slow. <laughs> Stay strong and carry on. <laughs> She's gonna ignore those fireballs. Which one? This one. Okay. I'm. I'm. <laughs> oh gosh. It's just brutal. Like I can't. I can't catch a break. You know. Which is why I need to be in the ward to cast, right? That's the whole point. That's the whole point, Kayla. I'm invincible. Wait. I'm not? I'm not invincible? Dude. Oh god. One health! Yeah, if y'all <laughs> have tips, um, I'm all ears. So like, oh, I thought I had time. I want to see if they followed me, the fireballs, follow me to the ward or not. This one messed me up a lot. <laughs> I got used to her in Remake, but made they made her way better in Rebirth? Yeah, okay. Yes, she has ways to protect herself now, like the bodyguard ability and the wards and teleporting to the wards. Whereas before, she didn't really have a way to... to do that. So let me back out of this and check something. I'm also sad the Gus music stopped. Is that your deal? <laughs> okay. Aerith, you were not as decked out as I thought you were. Okay, what's going to help her out? Ice is going to be... Oh, they're kind of slow. Wait. Oh, I thought... Okay. Don't have that one maxed out. Let me- I need to completely remind myself what materia we have. I could give her a uh, fire, like, resistance? Swap. Maybe? I... Yeah. Let's let's just look. I also should check their uh, elemental weaknesses. Um, binding. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I could slow them down or sleep them, but thank you. Good call on elemental. Thank you. Be right back. My dog needs to up. <laughs> yeah, I gotta feed these cats soon. They're harder to see now that my camera got smaller. Um. No. 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 No, that won't help me. Yeah, people were saying they like use this materia and it's great, and I never ever equipped it, I'm pretty sure. 
It's just some things I didn't do. These won't help. I don't think I need to worry about MP in this fight. Okay, so yellows. What do we got for yellows? A s no, we don't need that. Prayers. Again, enemy skill. I didn't use any. I don't think I used that a single time. But I should have, probably. Okay, ATB boost. Yes. Give her that one, please. She has it, but I'm going to give her the other one. Maybe that'll help. Fire and ice. Okay, whatever. Prayer. Protect, maybe. Shell, maybe. Okay, let's try that. Let's try it. I almost feel like Blizzard is going to be too slow, but we'll see. Also, what's her weapon? No. Right, it's like the one we get at the end of the game. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, this cowl is really good. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's try. I don't want to look up strategies, but... We'll see how it goes. Was there any mini game or side mission you didn't like? Um. Yes. I liked. I can't. I can't think well listening to that. <laughs> um. I I almost I feel bad about not liking is it called Gears and Gambits the mini game for the proto relic quests in Cosmo Canyon At that point in the game I felt almost like I had <laughs> I don't want to complain about the game having too much stuff to do um because it's great that there was so much stuff, and it's amazing, but when we got introduced to the Gears and Gambits game, it was like, um, it was out of nowhere, like I wasn't expecting it, and then it just hits you with all these paragraphs of like how to play, like instructions, and it keeps going and going and going, and I was like, just mentally not there. Not ready to play. Not ready to learn a whole new game, right? So I felt bad about not liking that. And I kind of just, like, auto... What's the... Like, there's something where you can just choose the best equipment automatically. I just did that. But yeah, so I felt bad about not liking that one. Um, yeah. Can't like them all, that's fair. But I liked all the side quests, I think. Maybe the chicken one was a bit annoying. <laughs> Good. That was funny though. I think everyone kind of universally hates that one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna focus up again. Yeah, I'm curious how you guys feel about all the content. <laughs> all the mini games. Like, were you overwhelmed or like I felt overwhelmed? And it took a lot of, like, mental energy to actively choose not to try to do them all. To get, like, rank 3 on everything. <laughs> the chicken was the best one. <laughs> it was very satisfying when I finally did it, but oh man. And then the ending, oh my god, I forgot the cutscene that happens after is hilarious. You're right, it's one of the best ones, actually. All right, let's see what I can do here. I want to save Leslie's girl, but fuck. Go on. What the? 
That's quick. The fireballs are quick when they're little, whoa! Okay, let's... Damn! God damn! This is the one I want. Getting slower. I don't even see these attacks coming at me. Okay, I saw that. Didn't matter, though. Okay, the fireball didn't follow, so that's good. So let's try... He's not breathing. Oops, what happened? Fuck. What did I do? I should have... There. No! Okay, we need a bit of... There's a... There's a... Significant amount of time to do the word shift, actually. Um, still going. Still fucking going. Let's just try using Blizzard on them right now. I should be invincible. Okay. Um, not doing great. But his health went down a little bit, which is... Which is great. I... um... Okay. We'll go big. Get out of there! No. Oh dear. I need another ward. That helps me with my... The double cast one, maybe. Well, let's just... Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Everything's exploding. Oh dear, oh my... Dear. Now? Alright. We're getting them. Getting them almost to be staggered. Just gotta run around aimlessly for half the fight. I. If I stop running at all, it hits me. Okay. I want to save up my ATB so that I can do some damage to him when he's staggered. This is so awkward. Okay. Um. Go now. Do some damage. Do it again! Quick! How am I not... I thought the whole point of that word was that I would be invincible, right? Shit. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Could summon something. I can't even do that, actually. I'll summon something. Uh, Alexander. Is my ward gone? Yes. I need another ward, guys. No. No. <laughs> Rest 
supposed to be doing. They're just... No, the word was really important. I need it again. Am I... Am I... Am I stupid? I feel stupid. I get off, like, one single hit. No, it wasn't even worth it! I need the ward, but... I need the ward. I need a ward so I can get out of the way. I'm gonna try this one so I can, like, cast twice. And be able to ward shift. Okay, one's dead. Oh my god, one's dead. Oh, this is gonna be a lot easier now, isn't it? running out of oh no does it oh I okay you know what it's gonna be a lot easier I help I hope oh god I hope yo Alexander <laughs> can you help me out <laughs> Can you just help a girl out? Fuck. Um... Are you gonna... He's not hitting him. <laughs> Very well. Ah, uh, why do you always got a fireball? Oh, shit. I'm feeling pretty weak. Goes right through him. I'm gonna get hit, dude. Um, am I in the ward? Please! <sighs> that was like one of the hardest things in the game. <laughs> See you around. I'm sure the other ones will be hard too. Oh shit. I can parry the fire. I didn't like the Proto Relics quest, but maybe because I wasn't the one playing it. Yeah. <laughs> they felt a little repetitive. I, uh, when I played Rebirth through, I never parried or blocked. It's just something I never got myself to do effectively or consistently. I always try and like roll out of the way. Okay, let's just try this. Wind Sages? Okay. I haven't done this one. I don't know what's up. Oh, these... Oh god. Okay. I just need to be reminded of what these guys do. Zemzolet. Ice. Inflict damage during wing beat. 
Barret's so hard to dodge with. Which is why I should parry, probably. Oh shit. Did you get hit? You didn't. I should wait for that. Okay. This is already going a lot better than the other one. Right, I should be doing some cool stuff, but... These guys are basically already dead! Very inconsistent difficulties. All right, who's next? So it's gonna be Tifa and the Undertaker. Eh? Okay. Eris should just use a gun. <laughs> yeah, the gun worked a lot better. <laughs> Okay. Shouldn't be bad, right? What kind are you? Modded? Okay. It's been a while, it's been a while. She have um, lightning abilities. Mm, no. Oh, the key trap. Is it stationary? Yeah. Oh, so sad. A little tricky. Okay, I can tell when he's gonna shoot at me. Gave me a gave me a moment's rest. How nice. Whoa, whoa, girl, where are you going? Tifa also a not not super confident with her. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, we're already here. Pressure. Oh, stagger bonus. Okay, I see. Pressure versus stagger. Yes. Different now, okay. Parrying sounds a lot cooler than dodging when you hit it.
Oh, he's lost both arms. That's so sad. Okay. Just, uh... Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on. Let's just somersault him. Okay. Come on, Tifa. Don't put yourself down. Now, Cloud. The Merc vs. Bloodstained Jester. That sounds new. Reward, loveliest of ladies. Oh my god, Gus is such a dick. But his theme is so good. Why is his theme so good? have expected an upset like this cloud the knife's team has made it to the finals but playtime's over this here's the real moment of truth are you ready i want to hear some noise people give it up for everyone's nightmare the murder machine supreme hmm. yes the music is back does our merc and his crew have what it takes to be the first I don't think I fought this guy. Let's go. I'm scared, actually. <laughs> what is this guy about? Yeah, we don't know. Gus has cursed Ace in the hole. An evil jester that has bathed itself in the blood of its enemies. It feeds on the soul of its opponents while drawing cards that foretell the future. <gasps> Wait, I remember this from the original, I think. There was definitely a guy who drew cards or like rolled a dice, I think. <laughs> This music is... Can I just... The music is so... Good. So good. He hits me with the cards. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do I... I do. Allow me. Evading Soul Sucker will force it to extract energy from itself and enter a pressured state. I think I just did that. Once its HP drops low enough, it goes berserk. And goes berserk, it will remain pressured, okay. Did I dodge it? Maybe not. Uh, wind? I don't think I've got wind. But Cloud does have, um... Uh, uh, wild... No, what one was it? Sonic Boom. Feels very good to play as Cloud again. How can he? Oh, there he goes. Oh, just for a second. Okay. Diamonds. He's got protection now, okay. Don't think I've got anything for that. Ooh, okay. Okay, this guy's not that bad. So good. Um Fuck it, just do something. Ah, ah, aha. Not looking good. Aha. And Cloud can't heal himself. <laughs> okay. Well, may have to try again. Does he have any way to heal himself? I don't think so. Ooh. Do you think breathes? No. <laughs> Whoa! I've never used this. 
he can't move. I can't move him. Gotta be careful. Let's be smart. I mean, that was better than nothing. I know what I'll do differently if we have to start over. I'm sure we will. That confuses me. That confuses me a lot. turned out to be <laughs> all right that's fine we can we know what we need to change we need wind and we need to be able to get rid of his um protection and we have to be able to heal <laughs> actually that's number one Magic focus. Let's do wind there. Blah, blah, blah. Cure. We need cure. What do I want to do instead? Uh. Here we go. And again, enemy skill. Oh, that's that's how I know Sonic Boom. I know that. We have a lot of just replace one of these. We need uh I forget what it's called. Um it is Purple? No. No, 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 no. Yellow. No. Wait. I hope in the next game we never have to fight Rufus Shinra ever again. They definitely, like, inserted him into a funny part of the game in this one. I do really like his battle music. So I was very happy to fight him again, but it was hard again. Time materia is good for solo fights. That is a great point. Let me consider that. <clears throat> oh, this is where I want to be. D... Shell, right? D protect D shell. I will equip that. Again, like I just don't block, which is a problem. But let me try what you suggested. If I remember to do it, I will. T -t 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 time. Yeah, haste. Why don't I do that more? A lot of. There's just so many things you can do that I often. Didn't do them. Um, I don't know if we'll need this. I don't think we will, but let's just see. Let's see um, Odin again. Okay, Gus. Alright. I think we can do it. If that girl is not Leslie's girl, I'll be really upset. Because he doesn't know for sure. We get to hear the music again. Um, let's use haste. Okay, hit though. That one's not that bad. That's not the one I need to watch out for. Oh, and then you can play Destiny. I got it. Wait. Oh, it was different. Oh my god. This guy's complicated. It's... I guess it's random, partially, because of his card thing. Wind. 
What's his deal again? Soul Sucker. Well, let's do it. Alright, I have to get rid of his... Are you gonna be pressured? He didn't! Sometimes he doesn't. Oh shit. He's got good range on that. Uh, let's quickly... I'm gonna- I'm gonna cure, just because I'm scared. Okay. Do what I thought? D protect. I thought that would get rid of. Oh, I always have to look at these. Mana a oh, barrier. Fa. <laughs> this is something I knew. I should figure it out before the third game. I don't know the difference between shield and barrier. And Mana Ward and Reflect, I think. So I'll have to learn that eventually. <laughs> Can't recall hearing disco music in a game in a while. So good. Like, what is this fucking music for this side character? Oh, here he goes. Okay, quick. Can I do it? There you go. Alright, round two. Ooh! What's that? Oh fuck, here we go. What? This guy confuses me. Oh, he's... Oh shit, he's doing other stuff now. I'm... S I'm gonna have to know about this guy. Let's, um... Let's not summon yet. Hmm. Hmm. Let's... Uh-oh, if he does it. Okay. This guy is uh, hard to predict. His destiny thing does more than three things. <laughs> Isn't shield just better than barrier? Maybe. I should really, really know that. Who cares about all those buffs? Summon Knights of the Round. I'm curious too how they're gonna deal with Knights of the Round in the third game. So, do I need to back out? That was better. Oh, D barrier. Yeah, I gotta figure that out. Whoops. This game is so fun. I'm so glad there's things I still have to do. It's like, it wasn't quite over yet, you know? Um... Item Master, I'm not allowed to use items here, so let's get rid of that. D... Protect... No. Wait. No, 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 no. Use D Brave. I think it's this. I think. <laughs> oh shit, I should have just replaced this one. Well, we can go back to, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, and this shit, like, HP to MP. These materia, like, I'm sure people do crazy things with them. I 
Come on, I like. Ugh. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll use a barrier. Use breach. Like, yeah. There's a lot of status effects I don't really quite fully get. Fuck okay, it, whatever. Just go. You here to join? I never got Knights of the Round. I was never that hardcore of a Final Fantasy OG player. I'm curious if you, anyone in the chat has ever gotten Knights of the Round. Sounds like a bit of work. To make the Kotor, Coder summon animation with the budget they did in the last CG cutscene, it will all be worth it. <laughs> that would be incredible. Oh, I just real like realized or remembered in the original when you're fighting Safer Sephiroth and he does the whole crazy like planet like he like has this crazy I don't remember which attack it is but takes like two minutes for the animation to play and it's like got all the planets in the solar system I hope they do that again <laughs> that would be crazy oops Supernova, yeah, that's the one. You, you know what? I'm happy to just listen to the music over and over again. So... I'm happy. Yeah, all of it. Every planet in the whole solar system? So funny. See, sometimes he doesn't get pressured there, right? Even though it says he should. Oh gosh. I think we have a cat coming soon. Making room. He decides to jump up. Okay. Evading Soul Sucker will force it to... Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, come on. I saw that coming. Kill. Oh, he healed. See? It's always different. get this guy at all, man. I don't. Fuck. Sometimes I cannot time that. Okay, here he goes. So let's try <laughs> D-Brave. No. Wait. That's not what I want. Is there... <laughs> I'm so bad at this. No. D shield? No, sorry. D barrier. That is that is a thing I have. D mana ward? That doesn't ring a bell. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. need to summon something here for fun. So good. Okay, here he goes. This is a slow attack, but 
That's a good one. Okay, now he gets hard. He gets pressured there, but... Spades, I have to learn... Okay, Spades, not, not too bad. Oh, he's getting pressured. Fuck. It goes hard with these cards. Let's summon Odin in a second. Uh oh, Joker. Oi. Okay, 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 okay. Quick. Hubs was okay. He just keeps doing it now. Shit, man. do here. Let's let's try and summon. Oh, he fucking healed a lot from that. I wonder if I can interrupt it. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Joker? Fuck, that one was bullshit. Let's just cross slash through it. Fuck, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, let's just build up our ATB. And we're gonna summon Odin, because why not? You're up. Okay, he's gonna heal. God, just seeing Odin gives me PTSD from the fight with him. <laughs> it's so hard. Okay, Odin. What are you gonna do for me, dude? All Father's Fury. Ring of Helheim. Let's do that one. Spades is alright. Spades is alright. Okay, let's never mind. Let's just hurry. Do that one, please. Shit. Oh boy. Okay, he's gonna heal, and so am I. Damn, two nine. This guy's bullshit. Limit. Doesn't do as much as I want. Fucking kill him! Fucking kill him, Odin, please! He gets pressured here. <gasps> that scared the shit out of me. Because this was the bullshit attack. Well, that was a nice ending to that. <laughs> Nothing to it. Nothing to it. <laughs> God, we're supposed to hate this guy, right? But his music is so good. Cloud, my man. Way to give the people a show. Gotta say, never thought my little baby would get so thoroughly crushed. Do you have any idea how much kill I saw <laughs> You inconsiderate son of a bitch! Uh, it's done. It's all good. Gotta look to the future. <laughs> Our future. Dude, Eric said the same thing. One hell of a team. And clean up the fights and the races. Come on, show you wanna. No. No. <laughs> Do me like that. I'll throw in some perks on top. That should sweeten the deal, right? Where's the girl? Oh, so you really were after our little prize. You, sir, are a perfect dog. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. 
to it. You earn it. Just as a little show of good faith. Go on, don't be shy. And then maybe think over that deal. Pretty please. Hey. <laughs> Cloud is a cutie. Oh, where did you come from, beautiful? You looking to get in good with the Gus man? Nice! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! I wasn't expecting that. Don't ever pull this crap again. Even Corneo didn't you get kicked by her in the cutscenes. you off my shoe. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Gus is redeemable, maybe. <laughs> okay, who's the loveliest of ladies? Oh, the, the music, dude. Though. The music. Different girl. Are you serious? Was just a random tourist from Midgar. How did you not check that? For a scam at the saucer, and ended up down here. I sent her back up, made sure she's safe. Okay, well that's good, I'm but wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of. We're gonna have to wait till the third I'm game. Really. Yes. Dude, everyone's gonna get the end of, like, their conclusion. Everyone's conclusion, including Leslie's. It's the third game. We're looking for something, too. Need to find it ASAP. <laughs> Funny. Always the same story with us. Leslie is down on his luck, man. Good luck to you. Thanks. And you. His theme, again, such a small character, but his theme, really good. Disney closure, yeah. Yes, I really want that too. It was nice to see her in this game, but there could have been more. Uh, more for sure. Okay. I think there's another quest available now, and that's a new one for me. Oops. Oh, it's not here. Is it on the map? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave that till next time for another live stream. Because this one has been so much fun that I definitely want to do this again. <sighs> I just wish that was Leslie's girl, man. I can't wait for it in- like, even- even his plotline is gonna be resolved in the third game, that's so funny. Oh man. All right, bring it back. Well, here we go, that's what I wanted. <laughs> that was so much fun. I'm glad I was able to do it. <laughs> I was uh, not looking forward to that Aerith fight again, but we did it. Yeah, so that's it. These three, four years are gonna be, yeah, so long, dude. Thanks, Mario. I definitely will. This has been really fun. It was fun to talk about the ending and stuff too, in the uh, kind of first part. And yeah, so there's there's this quest that just got unlocked. There's the Gilgamesh stuff. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll do some minigame stuff, like the chocobo racing was fun and I kind of want to unlock all the chocobo clothing. 
And there's still like the Chadley um, combat sim stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't want this game to end. Like, I feel like I've been in withdrawal since it ended and this has helped. But yeah, how the hell are we going to wait that long, man? I think in the ulti- no, not in the Ultimania thing. Was it? Um, there was some hint that they're aiming for three-year timeline to make three, R3, whatever the third game will be. Um, so that would be good. Three years, not so bad. But thinking about all they have to do, but they already had to do... Apparently this game was three years. And just thinking about the scale change from Remake to this, I think it's a bigger change than the scale... Well, fuck, there's the high wind part. No, I still think it's bigger. From Rebirth to the third game, it will definitely be bigger, but... It... It won't be as big of a difference. It'll be big compared to this game. But it's not as big as this game is compared to Remake. Final Fantasy VII, really long wait. Yeah. Oh man, it's like crazy. It's unlike any other piece of media, like... You have these three, four year waits, man. It's crazy. Like, at least with Lord of the Rings, they filmed it all at once and... I actually don't know how long it was between Lord of the Rings movies, but... It wasn't three or four years, right? It was like one or two. Fuck. Three to four. We'll see. It's gonna be amazing. This game was so good. Like, and I've been watching back my playthrough, and it is crazy how much you forget, because the game is just constantly hammering, a cr like, amazing things in your face. Crazy, mu like, crazy music, locations, characters, things that happen. And you just, like, can't, literally your brain can't absorb it all. <laughs> So it's been really good to like watch it back and remember all these things that I experienced but I don't remember. <laughs> One year between Lord of the Rings. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> still a long time, unfortunately. Oh well. We'll get through it together. I um don't know what I'm gonna play after this. I'm I was I was thinking about Final Fantasy 16 for a while. Oh yeah, Mario asked just now. Um Yeah. 16. I've heard good things, but it's a different type of game than this for sure. So I'd be a little it'd be interesting to play that after this. I think it's more of like a, obviously a more linear experience from what I've heard. 16 was cool. I'm not a streamer but I'm thinking of recording myself playing the upcoming Final Fantasy oh expansion. I didn't know there was an expansion for oh no 14. I read it wrong. Yeah 14. Yeah 14 I've tried to like it. I used to play like World of Warcraft when I was younger and I played like Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2 and so I thought like Final Fantasy 4 2 would be perfect but I don't know if I can play MMOs anymore. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've tried several times to play it and I just can't. Can't stick with it for some reason. Yeah. 
so. Yeah, different style for 16. I've heard. And is it still full price? Probably, right? Maybe I could find it refurbished. Yeah. 14's hard to get into, but I've heard really good things. Like, if you're an MMO person, apparently it's like fantastic game. It's just, I think part of it, it's the same problem I had with uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Tried to play that. And you just kind of, it ruins a lot of the like epicness of a single player play like game because you're the chosen one but everyone else is the chosen one and you're all running around as chosen ones like through this like janky temple and like oh no i just couldn't i just couldn't but yeah awesome i'm glad you like it toy christopher Sting uh, 16 has great music and incredible boss fights. The rest is just okay. Yes, that is kind of what I've heard. Does that outweigh it? Like, does that make it worth playing? Curious. I think so, yeah. Mario asks, what about something different like, for example, Walking Dead Telltale games? I don't know if you like that kind of game. Yeah. Um, I have played... Oh, crap, which ones? I've played Telltale games. Um, a long time ago. Wait, did they do, um, Wolf Among Us? Is that the name of it? I played the Game of Thrones one and didn't love it, but I've heard good things about their other... Yeah, okay. Wolf Among Us, incredible. I'm definitely into that kind of game. Um, I... I'm kind of... For me... Like, I like Final Fantasy VII. I like Zelda. I like Nintendo games. Um, like, I'm playing through Tears of the Kingdom right now. Well, I haven't picked it up in a while. Um, so I'm big into, like, a lot of Nintendo games. On Steam and PC, it's more about, like... I like farming sims, like Stardew Valley, which... Stuff like that, I don't know. It's not as probably fun to watch. Um, I've played uh, Cyberpunk. I wanted to play through it again to play the DLC. Uh, oh, there's a cat. I've, I played Baldur's Gate, like I crushed Baldur's Gate because I loved it so much. Sort of those like single player uh, RPG kind of games. Uh, I'm just bringing up Steam to like remind myself. <laughs> I played Subnautica, but it was terrifying. <laughs> like I beat it. Um, it was crazy achievement for me because I hate the ocean, which is why I'm not excited for Final Fantasy R three, because in the original, <laughs> the submarine. Exploration? Creep me the fuck out. Um, I'm playing Dave the Diver a bit right now. But slowly. Outer Wilds is one of my favorite games ever. I wish, I wish I could have recorded myself playing that for the first time. 
Such a good game. Um, yeah, Cyberpunk. L.A. Noir is a funny one I played. Hogwarts Legacy, like, uh, it's okay. It's kind of mid. Yeah, I've played Elder Scrolls, like, I loved Oblivion when it came out. I played some Skyrim, but never beat it. Fallout 3, I beat that. Didn't beat Fallout 4. I've kind of fallen off a bit with Bethesda games. Half-Life, Half-Life 2, we've beaten those. I tried Horizon, Zero Dawn, and it got really hard. Like at some point I couldn't kill anything anymore, <laughs> which sucked because the, the story seems really interesting and the main character. But yeah, I should try it again one day. Mass Effect. Love Mass Effect games, okay. Except I didn't play the new one. But like Dragon Age. First Dragon Age, yeah. So kind of like those big scale RPGs <clears throat> are kind of my thing. Yeah, those are the big ones. I was playing Tunic a bit. Stray was good. Yeah, anyway. Did you play Final Fantasy X? Yeah, I did. I liked it. I don't remember a lot about it, because it was a long time ago. You might like Final Fantasy XV. That's the car one, right? Clive is super hot and he has a cute dog. I didn't know about the dog. That's the thing with Final Fantasy games though, is like... Especially in the newer ones. All the men and all the women are <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> Completely gorgeous. Everyone's hot. So yeah, if I can... stare at Clive... Sure, maybe I'll play it. <laughs> but also the boss fights! seem really cool. And the music. Um, yeah. I've wanted to play The Witcher. That's one I always get recommended. But... I don't know what about it. I think I feel like I need to play The Witcher 1 first, but the combat wasn't very good. And that just keeps me from playing two and three, which are the great ones, right? So, yeah. Okay, well, Seeing the chat slow down, and I'm feeling my brain slow down. And it's been... yeah, almost three hours, wow. This has been really fun. Thank you for watching. I have loved talking to you guys in the chat. And I really look forward to doing it again. And trying to stretch out the last few hours I have with this game <laughs> as, as much as I can. Yeah, I don't, like, I've debated doing the platinum thing. Apparently it's really hard. Probably won't do it, to be honest. Seems kind of frustrating. Um, yeah, so probably just finish up these last few quests and try something new. So we'll see. Yeah. There's always hard mode. I might... Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> we'll see how much I can... Uh, I might look into it first, but all I see on Reddit are people like, this This fight was impossible, and this made me like... Yeah, I just like cursing the devs. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, so... I'll leave it there. 
thank you guys for watching. So appreciate you guys. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do another one in like a week or so. Fridays or maybe Mondays during the day. I like that. But yeah, I got some hungry cats to feed. <laughs> yeah, thank you again so much. It's been a lot of fun. And I'll hopefully see you at the next one. Bye, guys. Waiting for the chat to come to catch up with me. Thanks, Mario. Yeah, Mario, you were the first. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Caught up now. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching.